hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer in this video i want to share with you guys this post that uh, made by this nigerian comedian right and is he comedian no sorry he's uh he makes a uh, comedy skits and uh, he made i saw this post that he made i only read the first line i just said you know what let me make a video about this i don't know what what else he said but let me actually even the first line alone was enough for me to say oh i need to discuss this now let me read it like let me read it by line by line and i'll address it as we go along so he said his name is um, aloma isaac jr he's very popular as sis sister equitos that's what that's what i know him by sister equitos a lot of you will know know him okay now then let me read what he wrote he said i don't know but i feel somehow when i see people congratulate people who jackpot so if you're not nigerian and you don't know what jackpot means your language to jackpot is like to flee to run you know jackpot is basically to flee so there's this jackpot phenomenon going on where nigerians are basically fleeing from nigeria in the sense that people are not happy with the situation of the country with the government and uh, there's so much going on you know no constant electricity bad roads healthcare is next to zero uh, education is a problem the you know all of those a lot of problems so a lot of people want to go abroad is it the kidnappings and uh, there's so much going on okay so this jackpot phenomenon is a uh, basically Flee phenomenon. So that's what he meant by that word jackpot. So he said, um, it seems everyone is hopeless about Nigerian situation. <laughs> it seems. He said it seems. Is it it seems or it is? Because seems is like it appears as if it looks like. No, it's not look like. It is happening. People are leaving. Let's not forget to, before I forget to say it later, even the people in power, our politicians, their own family members are just bad people. How many of our politicians do their children's school in Nigeria? How many of them use the Nigerian healthcare? They go abroad for the best. So a lot of these things Nigerians are running away from to go and get what they want abroad. Our politicians and their families are getting it as well. Let's not forget that. Okay. He said, uh, 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 so he said, it seems everyone is, sorry, it seems everyone is hopeless about Nigerian situation. It's not it seems. It is. Everyone is. Right? Uh, because when you can say that your country is better before than it is today, like, come on. Most countries, if you see a lot of countries, Western countries, whatever, if you see what their towns and cities look like before, if you see when they didn't have central heating, they didn't have a lot of stuff. In the past, they've come a long way to where they are now. Our own, if to say we even they stagnated, if we even stagnated, it would be better. It's like we're going backwards. It's like that. Now people are saying, okay, let me not this, let me not make it too long. Okay, let me just read it. And he said, uh, hopeless about being a second class citizen in another man's country is not something I admire at all. That was the part that got me. You see, you know, his level is getting higher. You know what I mean? Because his comedy is making money, let's be honest. So maybe, you know, that has improved his level. So maybe that's why he's he, he's seen it like this. You know, talking about being a second, what did he call it? Being a second class citizen in um, another man's country. It's better to be a second class citizen in another man's country than to be a second class citizen in your own country. Because if you, I'm just saying, right? Let's even, the second class citizen is what he said. But let's even say that. If you go to a foreign country, you feel like you're a second class citizen. And and there is good education, healthcare, good roads, a constant electricity and everything. And you're a second class citizen. At least you can say, okay, let me migrate come here. But when you are in your own country and you are second class citizen in your own country, it's like if you went to somebody's house and the person is mistreated, you go, okay, nobody has fought, let me come to the house. But when you are in your own father's house and you are living like a pauper, or you're living like a slave in your own father's house. Talking about second-class citizen. How many people in Nigeria can afford the things that the politicians can afford? How many Nigerians can afford the health care and a lot of the things? Most Nigerians are like second-class citizens in their own country. Have you seen what the police does? You know, what the police, you know, police officers do to people in their own country? Let, something that people forget let's let's actually address this because people always say oh racism da, 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 da. in the so-called civilized part of the world or 
Western society. If someone is racist against you or a police officer did something against you and you, you have proof and there's evidence and everything, the law will take its course. In Nigeria, nothing will happen in your own country. You know, that's, racism is what we speak about, right? It depends on what part of the world you find yourself. There are some parts of the world that is not as bad as others. But let's say it exists. Do we not have tribalism in Nigeria? Are people not employing each other according to what tribe, uh, religion even? Are we not doing that in Nigeria? So in a foreign country, outsiders do it to you. You go, so okay, I mean, in your country. But it's happening in Nigeria too. Many Nigerians, most Nigerians are second class citizens in their own country because of the way the country is. Are we going to pretend? Let me tell you, any day, any time, most people would choose to be second class citizen in a foreign country where they can have the most basic needs met than to be whatever, which they are not even, they are not first class citizens in their country, than to be in their own country and be second class citizens in their own country where they still, they are still second class citizens and they still do not have the basic things in life. You see, they say this life, English will say, uh, you only live once. Igbo language, my language will say, this word is one coming. How do you translate it properly? Basically, you come once. Yoruba will say, aye ope meji abi, Life no be two, you know. I don't know, like that's basically it's the same thing as saying you only live once. Why live in a country where you don't know how many years? Even now, they say life expectancy in Nigeria is 40 years, happy they say 50 years. Let me tell you guys, anybody can die anytime. Let's be honest. But to know that your country's life expectancy is so low, ah, come on, and it's because of the way the country is. Uh, the sun is out and it makes my camera be washed out. At least you guys can see me. And say, uh, okay, he said, um, being a second class citizen in another man's country is not something I admire at all. Many Nigerians have achieved things abroad that they would never in their lifetime achieve in Nigeria. Many Nigerians are doing jobs, well, respectable jobs, and they are respected for their skills and their intellect and their abilities that sometimes they forget their race sometimes and they have good salaries and they can live well they can live well okay let me read about my last okay you see like i said i didn't read it all so let me read it i read the whole of it said about about my last tweet about japa i never said anyone can't leave nigeria if it's their their dream i'm just concerned about the mass relocation <laughs> not only mass not be a relocation, exodus, okay? A mass relocation, which in my opinion, seems like everyone has totally given up on the country. How do, okay, how do no go give up? Okay, and he says, and if every, and if every has that mindset, I think he meant to say, if everyone has that mindset, we can't stand and fight, fight for Guinea. The question is, Nigeria at the moment that we're looking at, is it worth fighting for? You are fighting people in power and their families, uh, a Mili King, like a fella will sing. They are busy enjoying, you are the ones fighting. The answers that Nigerians try to fight to, to come and speak out, how did it go? She beat it today. Government say nobody was deleted. Do you know amount of lives? Yeah, you okay? What's the smile about? Do you know the amount of lives that were deleted? How did that fight for Nigeria? How did it go? Is Nigeria actually worth fighting? That's actually a question. Please, guys, leave your opinions in the comment section. In your opinion, is Nigeria a country that is worth fighting for? Leave it in the comment section. Five. Many young people do not even care about the country they are going. They just want to leave. That is how bad it has gotten. Nobody runs from, from something good. I always say in this plat this my platform. In my language, there's something we, we say. There's no one you put sugar in their mouth that will spit it out. Do you know why? Because sugar is sweet. Basically, it's a saying that if something is nice, people will eat it. So, he's not saying that many young people are... Uh, they, so, for them to be living without even caring where they are going, it shows you how bad it is. It shows you... I'm not saying people should do it all, but I'm just saying that it shows you how desperate people are. No wonder I have met some of my friends in some of these countries who don't want to call names and they live in worse situations than when they were in Nigeria. They may live in a house that's not as big as the one in Nigeria, but they will have food to eat. For them to continue to stay there in spite of that, that tells you that the difference, like Seven Up will say, the difference is clear. There is a reason why they stayed, right? Okay, 
Thank God, like he said, he's able to go to these countries and meet them because his level don't they change small or his level has changed. That's why his level has changed. That's why he Japai may not hungry him because his level has changed. He's at a point where he may not feel the pain of the everyday man anymore because his level has changed. Before you jump out to a random country and um, inquire about their immigration laws and not just because the country is fine. That's good advice. Good advice. Of course, I would not want to post screenshots of Nigerians in some countries begging for funds to clear their overstay and return to Nigeria. Uh, so I made that post because it is it is my dream to see Nigeria work, and not because I have money in Nigeria. My brother, you get money. Ah, what are you talking about? We know they see your videos. You they get. Ah, what are you talking about? You're doing well. How did Mr. Macron be talking? Abi Shibi says you are doing well. Uh -huh. So what are you talking about? You are not desperate. You are not in a desperate situation. As many of uh, as many of you think. Well, I'm one of those that think that I don't think. I think I know <laughs> that your level has changed. Shibi recently they posted a picture of your new house. Person will never chop the food. No fee buy that kind of house. So don't come and tell us you have no money. You thief the house. I believe matter. So he said I first traveled to South Africa and Dubai before I became before. I became a household name in Nigeria. So you said don't try the Japan. <laughs> so you said don't try the Japan small. Okay. Okay. In Nigeria. And did not think twice about returning. Okay. Uh, I still have faith in my country, Nigeria. I might not be the popular voice you hear on social media ranting about bad government, but I really want young people to stand and ensure this country works. Uh, young people have not been given a chance. They told them before, say, the youth are the, the future of the country. The children are the leaders of tomorrow. Tomorrow has come. And they... <laughs> tomorrow has come. Our ancestors are still in power. So what... Let me just read this post. Because my video is getting longer than I planned for it to be. Okay. What was I saying? But I really want young people to stand and ensure this country works. Young people are not being given a chance. Now then they delete for Lekki Gate. A young man will have fresh cloth come outside. Policeman will end, end his life. Simply because he's looking too good and say you are a Yahoo without proof. And you're, let me read the rest. How will someone who wants this feel when every young person you turn to says, Oh, Omo, once I just see chance, I don't come out for this hopeless country. I don't blame anyone. Let me tell you guys, my own story is different. I didn't leave because of Jackpot, whatever. I've shared my own story about leaving. But I'm not going to come here and deceive anybody. If you get a chance to go and do something better with your life, I would say do it. Life, there's only one life. Don't waste it. I was telling my mother one time, I was like, look, when we go, because my mother wants my, me and my family to move back to Nigeria. But I'm saying to her, look, all these things you're even saying, when we even go to heaven, God is not going to ask you, which country are you coming from? It will not matter. None of these things will matter in heaven. She, you understand? Okay, read the rest. Okay, everything I said is my opinion about how I, about how I see the whole Japan thing. My brother, you it, see, it's a free word. Everybody is... Everybody is free to share their opinions. It's okay for you to share your opinion. But I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to deceive anyone. If you get the chance to leave that country, leave. Visit Nigeria on holidays if you want to or whatever. But it's not a country I will advise anybody that, you know, has a chance to leave, not to leave. Or else your father is a politician or your parents are some mega GOs that you're swimming in money. And eventually, even those ones that children school abroad, those ones, they are living the high life. So they don't even, so they don't even feel it. Right? So I'm not going to lie to anyone. The basic necessities of life, a country that deprives you of it. I'm sorry, I do not believe that you should stay there and be proving any point. My opinion, oh, people are free to leave their opinion in the comment section. When people say, well, if you leave Nigeria, who will fix it? Nobody says you must fix it. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, it's not a country where the youth are being, youth are being given a chance to do something. It is not. So we have to be honest. This is how I personally feel about it. What am I saying? I'm not saying go. All I'm saying, if you, if you want to go, go. If you want to stay, stay. There's only one life. And when the end of this, your one life comes, you should be able to look back and say, yes, I've actually lived a life. Not a life of suffering. And Ah, no. If you see the desperation in that country, I'm telling you, you won't be telling anybody to stay in it. Some people are absolutely desperate. A lot of end of lives in Nigeria that are so preventable. You know, the other day I was speaking with my mother. I say, if I, God forbid, I was climbing up my stairs and I fell. One phone call, ambulance will land in front of my house to take me to the hospital. In Nigeria, my neighbors will come. Uh, they will gather, 
Neighbors will even come. People may not, you know, it's people will gather and they will take one hospital. The first hospital will say, we don't have oxygen. <laughs> The first hospital will say we don't have oxygen. Another, and they'll be carrying people. Before they go one or two places, they will say the you know they will say the person's life has ended. I'm not going to come here and talk about how my father's life ended. Preventable exit. And you will now tell somebody like me. If people tell you their stories, look, I don't believe in carrying any country on your head. See, if you say I must stay and do Nigeria, when you leave this world, Nigeria will continue. Fela sang, sang, sang. Your voice crack. Fela is gone. What did he? What he spoke the truth. Uh, 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 Showing car is speaking today. What are, what are they achieving with all they are speaking? They are speaking the truth. This video has actually gone longer than I planned. But as always, this is how I feel about it. And as always, whatever your opinions are about this discussion, do you think people should stay in Nigeria no matter the situation? They should stay there and prove that they are, you know, they are going to fight for Nigeria. They are going to make Nigeria. Or should people just focus on their lives and find where happiness is for them? What your, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.